and we're back. Another episode of 402 Insights. On this episode, we have the one and only Hannah Hill Doggo. Hannah, how is everything? No, everything's good. I'm, I'm chilling. Great. So, going on to the first question who or what got you into basketball? Uh, my parents really kind of got me into the game. They introduced me when I was like real young, like four or five years old. Growing up, I played, my, my dad coached, my mom coached. So I always grew up watching the guys play, watching the girls play. So I really grew up around basketball. Well, going on to the next question, who was like your favorite game day sneaker? Um, I typically switch up my sneakers for everything. Um, but I would say the most comfortable sneaker for me to play, is, I'll probably have to give it to Kyrie's. They, they have so much like grip. I'm able to move and like the cuts I make and stuff I do is like good. Like those shoes are good for guards. So going on to the next question. What's like your pregame routine before a game in high school? Uh, for a game, I typically I go home, I'll eat, I'll take a nap, and then you know I'll come back, I'll pray before every game, then I'll just you know lace up, hop on the court. So going on to the next question, you have had to play against a lot of tough guards. Who's been, who, who, or it's been like a few of them that's like kind of gave you some trouble. I say, growing up, I always played against. Madison McDaniel, she was always my biggest competition I had guard growing up. And then playing in the USA, Jelani Cambridge, she was, she was, she's just quick. Like she's just like, when I first went up against her, I was expecting her to be that fast. But when I played against her, I'm like, dang, she's fast. So I had to kind of like adjust my game. And then during high school, uh, Madison St. Rose was definitely probably the toughest guard I had to guard during high school. So those three. So next question, you recently got named top five in the class of 2023 what was like your reaction or what was going through your head when you found out like when I first found out I was top five like I guess it was like still kind of processing because I was just like like whatever but like I was like how would it pass I'm like dang I'm really top five in the country like this is like such such a blessing like I really like look back and see like how much God has blessed me and like how like I've been doing this but like God, like, just, like, picked this certain time to just, like, kind of elevate me, like, when he blessed me, so I'm looking back, so I really just, I was just thanking God, because I was just, I just realized how blessed I was, like, after a couple of days. My first initial reaction was just, like, hey. So, going on to the next question, what was, like, going through your head when time was running down with your last game with Philly Rise this summer? Like, basically, I was just, like, like, dang, this is, like, the last game of, like, my whole AAU career, like, I mean, it was kind of, like, so surreal because I've been playing AAU since, like, from when I can remember. So, like, it just being, like, my last game, like, ever for AAU was just, like, crazy. And it was different. But, you know, I enjoyed the time I had with my team. Like, this is why it's, like, I feel like my best year that I had with my team, like, chemistry-wise, like, it was just it was just cool. Going on to the next question, what advice would you give to a young hooper that's trying to be like you? Uh, two things I'll probably say, like, work hard. Like, always constantly be in the gym, working on your craft, and, like, like continue to persevere because there's always going to be people that's doubting you and that's hating you, telling you you're not going to make it or, like, you can't do it and stuff like that. But as long as you put the work in, like, hard work beats talent and talent for us to work hard. So persevere, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so wrapping up this interview with this last question, how do you want to be remembered when your senior year is all said and done at Paul the Sixth High School? Um, I say I want to be remembered as someone who's like a strong believer in like her faith. Like my faith is obviously the biggest thing for me. I always I play for God, and that's kind of like who I am. I want to be who I am without God. So I want to be like remembered as a strong faith based person. I also be remembered as like hardworking, like someone like. Who someone like younger that models themselves after me who sets me up as like they're like model and kind of strives to be like like me like always in the gym constantly working just like locked in and uh, a leader I say a leader just being vocal all the time encouraging my teammates pushing my teammates 
like it's gonna get hard. I'm gonna push my teammates, so I want to be known as a leader, someone that gets my teammates better. So wrapping up this interview, I would like to thank Hannah for coming on and sharing her wisdom of the game. You can find me on all social media platforms at 402 Visuals. Where can they find you at? You can find me on IG at hannah.hidalgo3.